Hey everyone, and welcome to What Did I Miss, where today I have an update for you concerning the next film in the Star Trek franchise that you are not going to want to hear, which is that the long-delayed fourth film in the J.J. Abrams Star Trek universe has had its release date removed from Paramount's schedule. Now I've already seen online people claiming a lot of things about this news, so I want to take a moment to put out a quick video about what I think this means and why you should not be any more worried about the future of Star Trek than you were before today. But first, I want to thank you for clicking on this video and ask that you please help me out by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. I'm extremely close to being able to make my YouTube channel my full-time job, and by simply hitting the like button it really does help me out a lot. So if you do find yourself coming back to my channel, I do appreciate it, and if you enjoy the content, please do not forget to show your support too. This news came out late last night for me, but was first reported in Variety. The webzine confirms that the fourth film in the Kelvin vs. Star Trek saga, which began with the 2009 reboot of the original series cast, has been removed from Paramount Pictures' 2023 film release schedule. If you have been following the long road to get this movie made, you are probably not that surprised by this news. Even though a sequel for the third film with this cast, 2016 Star Trek Beyond, was greenlit before the movie was even released, there were already problems on the horizon. But more recently, the film lost its director, and reportedly none of the cast had signed a contract for the film, even though in February of 2022, the movie was given a release date in December of 2023. Coincidentally, I released a video last week about a rumor about this film where, among other things, I state that I would not be surprised if Paramount moved or dropped the release date altogether, and less than a week later, that is exactly what the studio did. That is why I am not shocked by this news, nor do I think it means that the film is completely dead. Honestly, I think Paramount set themselves up for this retraction by publicizing it the way they did. When the next film in the J.J. Abrams universe was first announced way back in 2016, the story for that movie was set to be around time travel. Chris Pine would return as James T. Kirk to meet his father, who would be played by the man who played him in the 2009 film, Chris Hemsworth. Well, in 2011, Chris Hemsworth started playing a character named Thor for Marvel Studios, and by the time it came to negotiate a contract for another Star Trek movie, Mr. Hemsworth had appeared as the character in four films for Marvel and became an international star. This means signing him to an ensemble cast made up of many other actors who had also risen in fame, like Chris Pine, as well as Carl Urban and Zoe Saldana, close to impossible, especially since Star Trek Beyond was not considered to be a successful release, which means it would be harder to convince the studio to pay extra for these actors. After this project was reportedly cancelled, there were two other projects in the works, one from Quentin Tarantino that sounded unrelated to anything else Paramount was working on, as well as having Noah Hawley attached to direct a new film after he had seen a lot of success as the creator of the Fargo series on FX. Mr. Hawley though left the project in 2021 in order to helm a project for another sci-fi franchise, that being the upcoming Alien series on FX, and Star Trek was left without a director again. Then later in 2021, it was reported that multiple film scripts were in the process of being created, with one being co-written by one of the writers on Star Trek Discovery. But in February of 2022, Paramount took its boldest step yet with the future of this film when they announced at their Investor's Day event that the movie would be released in December of 2023, would include the Kelvinverse cast, and attached a new director to the film, Matt Shackman. But members of the cast were not even signed onto the film before this announcement, and the director ended up leaving the project months later. Now since there have been so many different projects surrounding this film, it is impossible to know if the same movie that Noah Hawley was attached to is the one that Matt Shackman was working on. Although, since Noah Hawley was mostly known for his work on the TV series Fargo, and Matt Shackman was most known for his work on another series, in his case WandaVision, it is likely the projects were connected and that Paramount was looking for a director with specific talents. It is also interesting to note that like Mr. Hawley, Matt Shackman also left his commitment to the Star Trek film to work on another project based in a science fiction franchise. In his case, it will be the upcoming Fantastic Four film for Marvel Studios. With there being less than 18 months between the 2023 release date and the film losing its third or fourth director, there was no way that Paramount were going to be able to produce a film in that short amount of time. Which is why when the studio told the public that Matt Shackman had left the next Star Trek film, they might as well have pulled the release date too. But more often than not, these types of announcements are based around monetary decisions and do not make the most sense to the public. Sort of like giving a movie a release date without having a script, director, and cast finalized. Picking up your sarcasm. Well, I should hope so, because I'm laying it on pretty thick. So what does this mean to the future of Star Trek? First of all, this should not affect any of the five Star Trek series that are currently in some state of production at the time of releasing this video. On the small screen at least, Star Trek has been kicking a lot of butt, and their newest incarnation, Strange New Worlds, is the highest rated series to date. This leads a lot of people to wonder if perhaps Paramount will not release another movie right now and just concentrate on the series and production. 
Besides the series that are currently being shown, there have been a lot of rumors flying around about new series that will also be announced soon. That could be about legacy characters such as Janeway, Seven, and Sulu, or new ideas altogether, like a series based on Starfleet Academy. This feels weird to say this after talking about all the struggles this movie has gone through, but in a lot of ways, Star Trek has never been more popular than it is right now. Paramount could pivot their priorities and just concentrate on their various streaming series, but really, if Star Trek is this popular right now, they will want to capitalize on it in every way they can, which includes producing new movies as well as their catalog of different series. But given the difficulty of signing on the cast from Star Trek Beyond, I do believe that we have seen the last of that crew together. This does not mean that we won't see any of them again, but I do not think that after six years it will be possible to pull all these actors together again all at once. As I said earlier, I did put out a video last week about a rumor concerning this movie, and even with no release date, I still believe that it could be true. You really should check out that video if you are interested, and I will link it here and in the description, but basically it states that the next film will feature a new cast based on characters from the Next Generation era or the Enterprise D and E crew. I think that this is still a strong possibility, and it could not only still be based in the Kelvin timeline, but also include one or two characters from the J.J. Abrams cast. As I mentioned earlier, the original idea for this movie was to include James Kirk and time travel so they could just as easily go forward in time with him and meet another Enterprise crew and in a way, hand the baton to the new cast. But whatever they do, I hope that Paramount is more careful with releasing this information to the public going forward. The studio really set themselves up for failure by committing to a release date for a film that was in the state that it was in and had the history that this film has had. But Paramount is rather proud of Star Trek as their flagship commodity, so they probably thought that they had to say something about the film at the Investor's Day event to continue to boost the franchise. This isn't the kind of thing that fans ever want to hear, but at the end of the day this is a business and the studio will often treat it as such. From my own perspective though, I hope that whoever they find to direct this film not only keeps to their commitment, but also does not see this movie as a commodity or just another job. Star Trek has a long and storied history, and there are many fans now that are creators, and it would be great to get someone who loves Star Trek to take control of this project. I want someone that knows just as much about Star Trek that I do, and is proud to be part of its history. If the plan really is to once again reboot the characters, they have to find someone that not only loves but understands these characters and feels a responsibility to treat them right. If Paramount can find someone like this, I know that the end product will be satisfying to the fans and make this long wait worthwhile. Well that is all I have for this story, but let me know in the comments how you feel about the future of Star Trek and this movie. Thank you very much for watching this video, please do not forget to help me out by hitting that like button, and I will see you next time on What Did I Miss?